All right, guys, we're here at one of the mega polling places here in Phoenix. Uh, as you can see, it's probably about six o'clock at night. Polls are going to close anywhere from seven to 10, and they have a pretty good turnout. We were just talking to a lady over there, and she said that it's been like this all day long. So we're gonna try and get some interviews and talk to some people. So that way, are, do you usually vote, vote Democrat? Um. I, I used to be a staunch Democrat. I would say I'm not so much anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really don't want to label myself that way anymore. So I've been noticing something a little strange. We are asking a lot of people out here if they would like to have an interview with us. And a lot of them are saying no, but they give us some kind of a weird reason. Their dog is in the car, their friend is in the car, my kids are in the car. They don't seem to mind lying to us. And I have to say that a lot of the people coming in and out, I'm just saying they look like they might be voting Democrat. Maybe there's some kind of a correlation between the not the caring about lying and voting Democrat. Just saying. Well, it was, it was my first time voting today. It was? So That's for, amazing. Yeah. Who did we vote for? For, for I governor went, or something? I went Democrat. Democrat? I went towards that direction. Do you feel like you've always kind of leaned that way even though no. you didn't vote? No, no. just I um I just feel like there's a, we need a lot of we need a lot of change right now. Yeah. So I'm like I've just been going back and forth listening to different things everybody's been telling me. Mm -hmm. I always ask questions. I drive for super shuttles so a lot of people are always like, hey, you know, are you uh, are you gonna vote? Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do this? And it was kind of annoying me at first because it was you kind of hear more about all the bad stuff that was happening. Right. Not, I didn't know what anybody stood for. It was like, you were just so much bad. Like, I'm like, what? Can, I, can somebody actually say what they stand for? Because I've heard Kristen Sinema, Martha McSally, Kristen Sinema. I'm like, oh my gosh, you keep hearing about all the bad stuff you guys are doing. What do you guys stand for? Right. And then, like, as I was, I kind of just started doing a little bit of research. And I'm like, okay. So actually, Kristen Sinema. So she aligned more with your values. Um, Politics never really align with my values, but <laughs> I kind of went in her direction at the, at, at the moment. That, and I just don't like Donald Trump. I'm not a Trump fan. I'm from yeah. Jersey. We never, are, we never are. None of us in Jersey are Trump fans. Oh, really? We don't even like our own governor. <laughs> like, we don't like our own governor. That's but it was that just, I didn't like him before he became president, so I with him becoming president doesn't change my value how I don't like him. Still. It's awesome, though, that she was like military. I yes. think that is so awesome. Yeah, like, but yeah, I'm like if you didn't have her back in your girl, maybe. So if you like the fact that um, she was military, how did you feel when Kristen Sinema said that she uh, didn't like the, the war that was going on, and but it was okay for people to join the Taliban? I think she had a pink tutu. <laughs> she did wear a pink tutu, I think. She's, yeah, she did. I think she did. Bye for that one. Thing. They, you know, we both of them were. She's, I'm not a fan. But seriously, who? Do you wish I've there was a libertarian? Woman. Yes. On the ticket, that would be great. Uh, like, okay. Okay. I would have totally went that way. I yeah. would have totally went that way. I don't, I don't like either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like either one of them. But I was about to be a smart aleck and just write my name on everything when it says put somebody's name in. I would. I was just gonna write my own name. This is what is so frustrating. This lady was very nice and seemed fairly logical. She agreed that cinema was a bit batty, and she liked McSally, but she voted blue because she just didn't like Trump, and most media outlets are left-leaning. And I don't just mean news media. When will we start voting on policies and principles over identities and personalities? All right, and we are here with Jim Lemon, right? That's correct. And what are you running for again? So the Tempe Elementary School District Governing Board. Well, I want to ask, how do you feel yeah. about Proposition 305? Well, I think uh, 305 goes a little bit too far because there's no limits on it. There's a lot of people out there that can use uh, could use the help. Uh, I'm just not in favor because there's no guarantees that it's going to spin on the child for the betterment of the child. You just can't help every kid, every day, every way. It's great. It's a public it's great. school system. We try to. I feel like it's more of a liberal idea. Just let's help everybody if we can. So I did too. Well, I don't think so, yeah. it's liberal. I think it's, it's to take the money and go ahead and, and divide the public school system. 
to the have-nots and include the people that have the means to take their child to, to a different school are going to use the money. Why did we go for cinema and Garcia? So for Garcia, uh, in the, in, on the state level, education is one of my most important issues. And I feel that with his education background and genuine desire to increase education funding, I feel that that's what we needed in the, that's what we need in the governor's office. So that's why I uh, am voting for David Garcia. So I try to ask this kid several times exactly what Garcia has done, accomplished, or what, if any, achievements he has had. And all this kid had to say was, um, education? It is true that Garcia is a college professor where he teaches teachers how to teach. And judging by the hordes of brilliant fools and nitwits, both students and faculty alike, that liberal landfill colleges like this produce, my guess is he's not the sharpest crayon in the box. I also know that he is a progressive leftist because he infamously said, just imagine, no wall in southern Arizona. But hey, he's a Hispanic in a state with a population of 1.2 million Hispanics. So that's basically what they are running him on. Is there anything else that he's done that uh, you felt like was really good that he's done for Arizona? Um, he also would uh, bring accountability to the governor's office. There's been a number of scandals with... Uh, uh, our governor over the last four years, so I feel like he would, um, in effect, be a uh, fresh, breath of fresh air. You know, and what um, kind of achievements has he had that you were like, wow, that's my guy? Uh, so, uh, what stands out to me most is his uh, credentials, his uh, background in education. And then cinema, what is your So, cinema, I do like her bipartisanship. She yep, that's pretty bipartisan, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, all she's missing is the vagina hat. She is um, more pragmatic and more willing to compromise. With uh, McSally, I don't like her rhetoric on immigration, and she doesn't seem as uh, firm with the bipartisanship as uh, cinema is. How do you feel like uh, cinema is with, I mean, you said she's bipartisan, uh, but when it comes to going to war or something like that, do you think she would be for it, against it? Uh, it would probably depend on the specific scenario. Uh, for issues like those, it just really depends on the on the context and the specific context. Yeah, that's right, because she did say um, that she was against the Iraq war, but she was for people join the, joining the Taliban. So I guess that kind of is specific. Yeah, she had some very odd uh, State, uh, comments from years ago that were concerning, but uh, from what I've seen for recent years, I'm more often going to now. So we are at a polling place in Tempe, very close to ASU. So it makes sense that every person that we spoke with voted Democrat. What I find interesting is that everyone I spoke to, here and everywhere else, voted straight down the party line. Even to where it seems unlikely that they would call the governor's race, but not the Senate. Something's up. If we get any bombshell news about it, I'll be sure to do a video on it. One thing is for sure, a lot of voters are confused and very undereducated. Anyway, guys, I've been out pounding the pavement and I'm in the middle of editing a ton of content, so be sure to subscribe to see what's up next.